All right, guys, just want to go over the dev blog real quick. We just got a little update posty on what's about to come, and uh, I do think it's interesting enough to talk about it for a second. Uh, it was mentioned in game a few times, but here's some information regarding everything coming soon. Initially, when the event was posted, we were just going to release it alone, but after talking to the players and staff team alike, we reached the conclusion that it would be best to push the release back in order to combine it with a decent update. Really glad they did that because Brunex is definitely starved for some actual content rather than just events. Here's the content currently sl slated to be part of the update. The Nightwinter event, Runelight plugins, that is huge, donators own changes, as well as a possibly a new rank, so maybe the new rank will come later, but uh, we'll at least get donators own changes, that is fucking wonderful. Uh, in particular, I hope they really, really get to work on Mythic Zone, because for the amount it costs to reach, it is definitely not up to par compared to the other donator zones. And even the other ones are kind of so-so, especially if you've seen Spawn PK's most recent donator zone changes. Yeah, ours could use some work. Then the next one is very interesting. Task Scroll Rejuvenation, new rewards, tasks, reduced old tasks and mimic boss fights. We just talked about this, didn't we? We just talked about this, like, oh, let's start saving task bottles just because of that snippet where you would get you know, there would be like a whole event surrounding tasks, I figured, you know, there's a good chance and lo and behold, it has been confirmed that we can expect some changes. So thank God we're saving all the bottles. Well, we're definitely not going to start doing more master tasks until that comes out for sure. Really looking forward to it. Mimic boss fight sounds great. Uh, task scrolls in general are very appealing here on Runex, so hoping to see uh, some interesting Mimic boss fight. Oh man, just looking forward to it already. NPC souls, new openable items that give a role from an NPC's drop table, mainly for bosses and superiors only. That might be linked with the new rank, I don't know how they're gonna do it, but that's how Spompic has it, basically it's from grand promos, maybe regular promos, and then from a weekly in the in the cosmic donator rank zone, which is the $10,000 rank zone. Um, that's how they did it on there, that's not to say that it will be the same on here, but we'll have to wait and see. Treasure maps, buried treasures, global activities and new rewards and loot. More info coming in future dev blog. That will be interesting to see what they are gonna bring to it. We get the general idea of it from, from Spawn PK. Uh, basically on there you hunt implings that give uh, a chance of map pieces. The map pieces can be combined into a map and then with the map you basically, it works like a clue scroll. You go to where you need to dig, dig and get a casket and it spawns little events and it's really cool. Check out my Spawn PK update video if you want to get a more general idea. Again, that's not to say that one to one that's how Runix is going to get it, but you get a bit of an idea of the concept of it. So I'm going to assume the clue scroll part will be similar. I'm going to guess that probably the event part is going to be similar, where whenever you do one it spawns a little mini event, but maybe it will be a bit different, maybe it will be less wieldy focused, I don't know. Um, but I don't mind if they do because it would bring some interesting spice to the wieldy. I just hope there's a good amount of variety in tasks, like multiple locations, so people don't just camp multiple spots because you keep getting those same ones, you know? Uh, lots of bugs, quality of life and small content additions, such as a new barrel chest boss for early game, warp terror birds and scepters and more. You know what, I'm not gonna judge on any of that, we'll see what it brings to the table. Uh, the Warped Scepter on Old School RuneScape is not a good item, it's worse than the Trident, and by Runex standards, the Trident is shit. But they might make it a bit custom, it's Runex after all, so it might actually end up being pretty decent. We'll have to wait and see. It might actually be, if they do make it decent, it might be a reasonable staff to use in TOB until you get a Sang staff. Assuming that that is also, uh, you know, like the barrel chest aimed for early to mid game. And if there's enough time, one to two other special things additionally in the update. Lastly, here's some information regarding what we've been doing outside the update. Maya system finally added after a long arduous process. This means TOA and Desert Treasure 2 are now ready to be prepared in early 2024. I think that is a sentence that a lot of us will feel very double about. On one hand, it's like, fuck yeah, confirmation that it's, you know, finally gonna be worked on. On the other hand, it's like, it still needs to be worked on. I think a lot of us would have hoped to have had it already, that is the reality of it, but you know, it is what it is. And that's not like a comment towards the developers or anything, I'm just saying. I feel like a lot of us have been waiting, in particular for TOA, for a long time, so on one hand it's 
bittersweet that it needs to be started working on. On the other hand, it's very nice to hear something about it and know that it will be coming in early, well, it will be worked on in early 2024. Then we'll have to wait and see when it actually comes out, depending on how much work it is. I have no fucking clue. This was the largest hurdle in the way of adding that of adding that content, meaning this breakthrough is monumental and huge for future content releases. I'm guessing that's not just for this, but in particular to old school RuneScape content, I would have to guess. Um, but fuck do I know, I'm not a developer. More core work, rework foundations in place, this allows us to do more intricate things with NPCs and boss fights relatively easily. That sounds good. Trial of Might groundwork, after the core reworks, Trial of Might will be ready for re a release and include hours upon hours of replayable, unique, fun and engaging gameplay loops, <gasps> along with weekly resets for weekly rewards, a new shop and first time completion rewards. That's a long sentence, bro. Plans for Leaks to eventually, a little comment at the end there. Um, curious to see what that will bring. I, I know Leaks is very popular in Old School RuneScape. I think a lot of us feel that way as well. <laughs> as shown by Old School RuneScape reaching 200k players recently. Leaks always do well. It just depends on how the Leaks is executed. I've, I've mentioned it a couple times, I'm not gonna go too in depth on it. But if we get another Leaks on Runex, I would hope for it to be a little bit more custom than the last Leaks. because. I felt like the last leaks, and I know it was a Band-Aid leaks, don't get me wrong, I'm not once again bashing it. I know it was a Band-Aid due to the fact that the servers were down and it was a solution to a problem. But if we get a, a, a real leaks, I hope it is a real leak, you know, relics, overpowered shit, crazy drop rates, everyone is an Iron Man. Anything you get during the playtime gets removed, meaning you can go hard and then use those points for additional rewards. I think it would be best if they just straight up disable donating for leaks. But like, or maybe like add like a separate way that you can donate, but you don't benefit from it directly in leagues or something along the lines. It should definitely be the case where, you know, Runex is up at the same time as leagues, so you can play one or the other or both, but not to the point where leagues is down entirely. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it. I get it. Money needs to be made. You don't want to do stuff for free. So I don't mind there being a donation system. I just don't think you should benefit from it. A little example, last league there was a task, open three crests. That was very pay to win, because you could very easily get it from promos. I think it would have been better to instead have a task of making three crests. So get all the crest pieces, then make three crests, and that would be a task. Because you don't get that from something that's pay to win. Little example. Like I said, I don't want to get too deep in on it. I am a big fan of leagues, I just hope that it gets done really well. Glad to hear some communi communication again, it's been a little while since we've had like a solid message like this and I really appreciate that. Looking forward to it, hopefully soon TM. Alright guys, it is another Monday, my shit's still running from the last time we ran Chambers, but that's okay, I don't care too much. Uh, it's a new week, so a new wonder. Let's go ahead and... Ugh, why are you rubbing in my face like that, bro? I've been trying. Well, I wouldn't sacrifice it. it, it <laughs> wouldn't sacrifice it even if I had gotten one of those, but still. Hurts to see. Uh, Scholar Blessing, Bags of Riches, and then a little Ross Shark. Some decent tasks, some doable stuff. But we have plenty of tokens, so we don't need it immediately. Because we rich like that. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely not rich, but let's go ahead and buy some weekly boxes. Something I look forward to every Monday now, so we can get ourselves a second Flamberg. You know, boom, ew, boom, ew. God darn it. <laughs> well, the first try was a bit of a failure, uh, man. We'll have to uh, go on some other accounts and get more boxes. I'll do that in just a minute. But first, unbound Grant Price key. Get a few chests. See if we get lucky. Save the key a couple of times. Would be nice. Let's see how that goes. And just don't fail too many. We don't have that many attempts to begin with. They will get two to start. Yeah, they'd use it right away. Lovely. Not the best loot. Got a little torture in there, but the rest is kind of shite. I'll uh, fault the M chest in case someone else pulls a key. Who oh, no! Our boy Ty is broke as fuck. I don't think my man has played in a week. Platinum? Is that 21 bill in platinums? Did I see that right? What? How much money does he have? Broke as fuck. <sighs> it's like one of the easiest tasks, to be fair. Like, uh, but it's still a lot of coins that we don't have. Three Xenite shots as well, a Karazi accumulator. Well, I've gotten a few of those now, so that's not the worst. And Lava Battle Staffs. Oof. Let's get some shit for that. I'll rip my own cash deck. 
it is what it is. That's not even gonna give me enough weight. I need the accumulator as well. <laughs> I need to do a few hard steps and shit, otherwise not even gonna be enough to get two boxes. Tragic, bro, tragic. At least this one is the majority of it, 1K. Accumulator for another, oh wait, that's a medium task. Right, right, right. Luckily we gotta go back to NASA anyway. Dragon Claws, yeah, three Z Knight shots. Ah, more demonic gorillas or we would have to do some TOB again. That's a bit of a pain in Dragon Claws. Do we have some laying around? I have to find some. It is one of those annoying ones because you have to do it on that account. An easy caskets. Why easy, bro? Lava battle staffs is also just not realistic. Yeah. Does he have a reroll? Surely, right? Boom. Into. Huh? Okay, Grand Elixirs and Rune Knives are fucking. Well, Rune Knives? Is that a drop you get somewhere? Yes, it is. Okay, no problem. Grand Elixirs, easy as fuck. Oh, okay, then those are the untradeable ones. I was like, that's a low amount. And what was the other one? Staff of Light. Happened coincidentally to be in the Mage of Wisdom today. Could we be that lucky? Oh, Arcane Stream is. It resets in two hours. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Staff of Light is pretty doable. It's like, what, 10, 15k? Whatever. Grand Elixis, all the mediums. So now we gotta do all the tasks after doing that massive GP one, you know? Gotta get those bonus tokens. We'll give him enough tokens to get the majority next week as well, so that would be nice. Of course, we also gotta hope that some of the other accounts have decent luck on, you know, tasks, being able to get some boxes. Instantly forget what the fuck I'm looking for, bro. On oh, God. I read the task and I just instantly forget. Adamant Bolts. I knew it was Adamant. I typed Adamant. Probably because there were no Adamant Bolts in his bank. Okay, can't find Bolts literally anywhere. <laughs> so be it. Two more boxes. And look, I can even get you two Elixir's tie. Congratulations. 12 tokens remaining this time. Uh, open the untradeable one. Infernal elixirs is not the worst. Now we can go on Raymond and open the... You know what? We'll, we'll do the tradable ones at the end. See if we can get any more first. Just finished checking skeleton, but that was basically an instant logout. All the tests are shit from Oceanic Roblox to a Draconic Talon and... A lot of crap we don't have. Siren Tome, what a great start, Goba. Crystal Helm, that might be doable. Kraken Tentacles, Crystal Chest is okay. And Lava Dragon Bones. Lava Dragon Bones, surely he has some. And then Crystal Helm, I'm sure we got a spare one in the vault. We most certainly do. Let's see if we can get at least one box on this account. Nope, Galvanic Totem. That's fucked already, bro. Wait, how many tasks is it per easy? Mud Battle Staffs. What was his medium? Tentacles. I think I need the mediums in order to complete this. Alright, completed all his easies, did the crack a tentacle task. Now he has a medium for a gilded cannon. Either way though, I think it's just gonna be one untradeable box. And then we're gonna run out of tokens, not enough completions. And we just have ghost left to check. Sadly we're not really on top of it. Where the fuck is the gilded cannon? There we go. <laughs> Search for a bit. Yeah, it's, it's rough, man, it's rough. We'll do what we can. Yeah, seven easy caskets. Just give me the untradeable. Go back, show us your worth, and pull a little flamberg, bro. Oh, you know, Necrotome. It's not bad, it's not bad. We'll take it. Could sell for a little bit, or we can just hang on to it if we find another good use. All right, goes to some decent tasks, but Crestbear played legs for his elite, so that is far from ideal. He has enough for some boxes, though. Let's check the untradeable one. <gasps> Incineration enchant! That is very fucking cool. Okay. First one that we have pulled in the group. A thing that is used to make the new Halo. Used, used to enchant powerful items. I love how it says plural items. It's multiple. But I don't think there are multiple items. I believe it is just the Halo upgrade at the moment at least. Unless they are planning to add more to that, which would be interesting. But that makes me not want to enchant it, you know what I mean? Not sure what we're gonna do with that, we'll hold on to it for a bit because I don't think it's a priority and it mainly, the main thing, it becomes untradeable. So once we make it on one account, that account is like bound to it and we can no longer take it off. It's a very cool pull though, I'm gonna guess that is about the same rate as a Flamberg could have been, but it is still really cool to see the first one, so we'll take that. Let's open the tradable ones real quick. All right, I guess we have two more boxes, man. Two more chances. We're already gotten lucky. We pulled two rares. 
So no matter what, I won't complain, but let's see. Ooh, that's a lot of mystery shots, okay. And five Wonder Elixirs. You know, we'll take it. I'm pretty satisfied and content with what we ended up getting. Not bad at all.